So I've turned this back inside out in order to do the cuffs. If you're not doing cuffs, then you would just fold up the sleeve half inch and then another half inch and hem. Or you can do it one inch and hem. Um, if you're going to do that, it's usually best to, to finish the edge with, um, with a zigzag stitch or a serge stitch just to look more professional, but it's really not necessary as it'll, the fabric will not fray. Um, it's just for looks. Okay, so if you're doing the cuffs, first step, same as the bands, is to sew the side seam. Um, on the grow cuffs, this will be the side that is 10 inches long. Um, or on the regular cuffs, it would be the side that is 5 inches long. Now, if you have cut the cuff correctly, um, then that will also be the side that is parallel with the grain. So, you should be able to see the grain running vertically. Okay, so you're going to fold your cuff wrong sides together, again, the same, the same as you would with a band. Mark the seam with a pin or a clip. And then place another pin or clip exactly opposite to the seam. With a small cuff, you really only need to do the two, but with a larger cuff, um, for, like for a bigger size, then you would probably do um, it in four as well. All right, so then you're going to slide the cuff inside the sleeve hole, lining up the cuff seam with the sleeve seam. Pin it together at the seam, and then stretch the cuff gently to match the size of the sleeve hole, and sew around it. We're on to doing the skirts. Now the shorter skirt needs to be hemmed before you put it together with the longer skirt and sew it into the bodice. Um, so I'm going to be showing you two different methods to hem the circle skirt. One is a single fold and one is a double fold. Um, the single fold is recommended if you have a serger um, because that way you can still have a nicely finished edge um, by serging around it and then folding it up. Um, the double fold would be more so if you only have a sewing machine um, that allows a nice professional finish without the serger. So I'm going to do the double fold on the shorter skirt, this red one here. So, a lot of people will suggest that you press your hem in place. Honestly, I don't find it necessary. Um, what is necessary is to pin a lot. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to start with this corner. Fold it up half an inch, and then half an inch. I should really be measuring this, but I'll be honest, I don't. I eyeball it. <laughs> okay, so the trick here is instead of then going on to the next one super close to it, you need to spread them out and then do the ones in the middle. So I'm going to do one here where it starts to curve. And then go back to this middle one. and place one there. So you can see it's bunching a little bit, which it's going to do because it's, a, because it's a circle skirt. The outer edge is bigger than the, the seam line where you're stitching. Um, so what you're going to do when you're sewing it is just stretch really, really gently. Like it really doesn't take much. You can see that I've just pulled it like a tiny, tiny little bit and then sew it like that. Um, when you're done, the seam will be a little bit wavy, um, but after you give it a good steam press, the waviness will disappear and you'll have a perfect hem. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish 
pinning this. I'll show you one more. So I'm going to go a few inches away, fold it half an inch, and then half an inch, and then go back and do the middle, making sure to kind of split the extra between both sides. There we go. Okay, I'm going to keep going all the way around. Okay, so I've got that top skirt hem now. As you can see, it's wavy, but once I press that, when I've done the final hem and I press both of them, um, it will get nice and flat. It will take the waviness right out and it'll look like a nice smooth hem. Um, so your next step is to lay your top skirt on top of your bottom skirt, the long one, um, and you're gonna baste them together around the waist and down the front sides so that they stay together for the next step when you attach them to the bodice. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention, um, for the hemming, for the hemming um, because the hem does not need to stretch, um, you can just use a long straight stitch to hem. You don't need to use any fancy stretch stitches or anything like that. A long straight stitch will allow the fabric to relax back into place when it's pressed a lot better than, than a tighter stretch stitch will. So now that the skirts are basted together, the next step is to attach it to the bodice. So first you want to find the back of the waist hole. So you're going to fold it in half. And mark it at the back center with a pin or a clip. Then you're going to do the same with the back of your bodice. Fold it in half. and mark it at the back. Then you're going to match them up right sides together. And clip them together. Then you're going to take your notches that you cut in the, uh, or that you marked in the side of the curve of the skirt. Match them up with your side seams. And then go all the way down to the bottom of the skirt and match the bottom edges. Then you can fill in the rest of this with pins and clips. And you're ready to sew your skirts onto your bodice. And there we go. All we've got left is the final hem. So I'm going to show you the other way to do that, um, which is by serging the bottom edge first um, and then and then turning up and hemming. Um, so I'm gonna serge half an inch off of the bottom so that the hem is at the right spot. Um, so as I serge, I'm gonna be taking a half inch off and then I'm gonna fold it half an inch and hem it there. All right, so I've got my bottom edge serged now for that professional looking finish. So I'm just gonna fold it under half an inch and pin or clip it all the way around using the same process as before. So I'm going to go a few inches apart and then fold it down in the middle between the previous two. Go a few inches apart and then in the middle all the way around like that. And then when I sew my hem, I'm just gonna gently stretch and sew it all the way around and then give it a good press. And there we go. Here's the serged hem, all nice and flat after pressing. 
and the double folded hem. Also nice and flat after pressing.